Rachel, the Pirates went down to Oregon this past week, and, mm -hmm. and you got a split, but perhaps most important out of that split was uh, uh, you clinched a spot in the Northwest Conference Tournament at the end of the season uh, with that victory over Willamette. Uh, what else, as a coach, do you take out of the weekend as far, that included ups and downs? Uh, what do you take out that you're going to build on? Well, uh, we had a different lineup this week. Uh, one of our players is out with an injury, and she's a top player who's really worked hard for us and really come in clutch uh, on some of these other weekends. Clara Todd, she's been out. Uh, so we had to kind of throw some different doubles teams together and try some new things, and I'm just really, really pleased with how my team adapted so well. And... Uh, they, they had some highs and lows, especially in that match against Willamette competing. It was our first match outside uh, since the fall. And uh, I'm really, really pleased with the outcome, obviously, but also just the path of how we adapted throughout each match uh, was really, really impressive and I think makes me excited for how we wrap up this season as well. You're kind of at that midway point, a uh, little past. Um, what... Uh, Outside of injuries, are there still things shaking out in terms of the lineup and and uh, where people fit, especially in terms of doubles? Uh, you know, honestly, what I'm coming to realize is there's not many wrong answers when it comes to doubles pairings, and that's freeing. Uh, but it feels like less of a question mark and more of a comfort at this point in the season for my players and for myself. Um, we have some better ideas of which pairs work better, but there's three or four right options for every player. Uh, obviously, we don't want any of our players injured, but it's just so nice and comfortable to have a team with this depth where anybody could step up and get, get the job done on any given day. Next, you are going to head to Orlando, Florida. Probably going to be better, better weather than Spokane, Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're going to get to see some teams that you never see. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about just what this week, spring break, means and, and uh, <coughs> how it builds this team, builds the experience of the players who come here. So uh, this trip is going to be, I think, ho hopefully for my players, once in a lifetime. Uh, we get to play on the USTA national campus. We get to play four really, really, I think, evenly matched schools. But as you said, um, there's only so much scouting that we can do when the schools we play are on the other side of the country. And some of them we've played before and some of them we haven't. So um, just looking forward to getting an opportunity to get in front of a ball we haven't seen and work on that adapting that has really helped us in these last few matches come out on top. Uh, outside of that, we get to go watch some professional tennis. We're going to go to the Miami Open as a team, uh, which is pretty incredible. And of course, I think the most important piece is that we're going to get to play a lot of outside tennis. So as we prepare for our now definitive trip to conference where we will likely be playing outside, we're going to have a lot of match play under our belt.